Hi, it's me Caroline and today I want to talk about face products and sunscreen. I've been trying out a new brand, it's called Green Deeper, it's from uh, Ontario, it's a Franco-Ontario brand and um, it's really nice. I've been really liking it, I wanted to um, try it a few weeks before talking about it but now I'm confident that I, I have tried it out and it works for me so yeah. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So as you know, I've been going cruelty-free and uh, vegan in a lot of uh, domains of my life. And yeah, I was still using some big uh, company um, makeup remover. I have my Willita face cream, but it was almost out. And uh, my best friend bought uh, the face uh, the face cream from Green Deeper. I tried it out and I really liked it, so I went a little bit crazy and obsessive and bought all of the line of face wash and face moisturizer, makeup remover and there's also an exfoliant. And uh, before that I had purchased their sunscreen, it's in a spray bottle and I really like it. It's uh, 27 FPS but yeah, as, uh, as I learned it's not really necessary to have a higher FPS. I mean, you only have to apply it more often. And the percentage—it's the percentage of coverage is not really that different between a 30 and the 50. So you're not gaining that much. And I chose the spray formula because it's the formula that is vegan. Their other one is—it's um, in a cream formula, and I think there's beeswax in it. And it's a lot heavier and creamier and I think that with a spray version it's much easier to to spread and to rub it in your body and if it's not a pain to apply then I'm more likely to use it so really fast uh, there is this uh, claim be behind any product and it says uh, it's vegan GMO free not tested on animals there are no petrochemical, no silicones, no phthalate, no artificial fragrance, chemical preservative, or formaldehyde releasers. There's no GMOs, no PEG. Um, I don't know what PEG is, but it looks good. And when you read the ingredients on the website, they're really clean too. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. So first we have the gel cleanser. It's a gel formula, but it still foams. If you apply it on a brush, you can get more foam out of it, but really I just rub it in my face and I'm not that bothered that it doesn't foam a lot. Um, it has a grapefruit scent and there's aloe vera in it. So it's really great for sensitive skin. Other description, let me read it. Um, so it's organic aloe vera concentrate with chamomile for red skins and irritated skin and it's purifying grapefruit, dissolve excess oil, uh, leaving your skin feel fresh and balanced. And it's, uh, it's good for acne prone skin but as a person with more combination dry skin it's really great for me. I really like the scent, it's not too powerful, then uh, I don't have a very sensitive nose, but yeah, I think it's a really mild grapefruit scent. The makeup remover is made from aloe vera again and some flower oil. It's a really um, soft eye makeup remover, it doesn't sting my eyes, I use it on my um, reusable cotton pads. And um, I found that you really have to wet the cotton pads if you want uh, them to work better. If not, it's really scratchy and not that pleasant on your eyes. But uh, this makeup remover is really soft and it doesn't sting in my eyes. And uh, it's just because I'm lazy and I don't rub maybe enough or I should use two cotton pads to make sure everything is off because sometimes I, I get a little mascara under my eyes in the morning. But really it does the job it's really nice and uh, it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky after afterwards um, usually on evenings I only put makeup remover over all my face I don't wash because I'm, I'm lazy like that 
and I put my face remover or sometimes I, I don't even it's really moisturizing so if you want to do a one step makeup removing at night again I don't put a lot of foundation every day so it's only mascara and eyeshadow but yeah I like it the day cream is made from aloe vera again and green tea and it's a really strange um, cream afterwards it leaves your your skin feeling really um, lifted <laughs> I don't know it's not uh, really dry or um, how do I explain this some sometimes it makes you feel a face wash can make your skin feel uh, really tense and it's not pleasant but this is just a, a nice fresh feeling of my skin is firm and really uh, nicely hydrated um, even if I have a dry skin and this is not a thick heavy cream I find that it's enough for me and um, the smell of it is more on the herby side I would say it's really light again th there is not a lot of scent in those things so that's that's great for sensitive skins so the exfoliant I use it a few times a week often um, in the morning instead of using the soap I'll scrub my face with the exfoliant or in the shower I will use it um, to scrub my face but I have to say it's my least favorite of the four products um, it's using a bamboo microfiber bands and flex to uh, remove dead skins so it's not microbeads and it's a more eco-friendly formula and I think that there is not enough um, bamboo microfibers um, I, I really like to feel the scrubbing sensation and there's only a little flex through the, the cream so yeah I would like this to rub more um, but yeah that's the only one I wouldn't repurchase I think I'm better off with um, other exfoliants or just um, some masks to really scrub out the dead skin uh, or really a face brush would do a better job than than this it's really nice the scent and everything but I really like when it scrubs harder but if you have a sensitive skin and a lot of exfoliants are too harsh for you I think this would be great but yeah I like a tougher one so yeah I really like this line of products they have also body soaps and all sort of things so maybe I'll I'll look into this but uh, this face line is really great and I recommend it I don't know if it's uh, available worldwide um, I'll leave a link to the website or some place that you can get it I think there's a lot of uh, website reselling bio and natural stuff oh, I'm always tending to say bio but it means organic and yeah so maybe you'll be able to get it or if you come by in Canada pick pick one up and try this out it's it's a really nice eco-friendly vegan product my face is itchy ah. I'm just a little bit sad that it's in a plastic container because I would love to go um, zero waste someday but uh, it's still a big container and I'm only using a tiny dot and I think it will last a, a long time and well anyway any of the products I buy I usually have them quite a while and I have a hard time finishing them but yeah I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any question as always write them below in the comment section or write me any suggestion of things you want me to talk about and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week take care <laughs>